Welcome to a new step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're diving into how to remove default weapons from Paragon characters and add your own custom weapons. I'm the developer behind Dungeon Forge, Legacy, an RPG in the works, and I love sharing the tips and tricks I pick up on this journey. This is the third tutorial in our Paragon series, showcasing these free, professional quality characters. If you're excited to level up your Unreal Engine skills, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. A quick thumbs up also goes a long way to help my channel reach more developers like you. Let's do this together. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to equip any weapon to any Paragon character. Let's get started. In the content browser, expand the hierarchy to open the character's animation blueprint. In the Anim graph, right-click, type Transform Bone, and add the Transform Bone node. Open the skeleton to locate where the weapons are attached. For better visualization, click Bone, then Hierarchy, then disable the mesh. Here's the sword embedded in the skeleton, and there's the shield. Re-enable the mesh to confirm it lines up. Clicking the sword highlights it in the bone hierarchy on the left. We're looking for the top level sword bone, sword bottom. Back in the anim graph, select the transform bone node and set sword bottom as the bone to modify. Set the scale to zero to hide this bone. Choose, Replace Existing, in Scale Mode. Compile and save. Add a second, Transform Bone, node and head back to the skeleton. Click the shield to find its top-level bone, Shield Inner. In the Anim graph, select the second Transform Bone node, Set Shield Inner as the Bone to Modify and scale it to zero. Again, select Replace Existing in Scale Mode. Connect both new nodes so they come before component to local. Compile and save. Launch the level, and your character no longer has its default weapons. Quick pause, loving these Unreal Engine hacks. Subscribe to keep the tutorials coming. A thumbs up helps my videos reach more creators like you. The sword drawing animation still plays at startup, triggered by the montage play node. We can confirm it's this animation. Simply disconnect the node to stop it from playing. Now, when you launch the level, the animation is gone. Let's add our custom weapon. I created this weapon using an AI tool. Check my comparison videos on AI tools, links are in the description. Drag and drop your weapon's FBX file and click Import All. Right-click in the Content Browser, create a new Blueprint class, and select Actor. Name it, Mines, BP underscore Sword. Open the Actor and drag the Static Mesh into Components. Select the Mesh component and set Collision Preset to No Collision. Now, let's attach the sword to the character. Right-click to add the Begin Play event. Add a Spawn Actor from Class node, connect it to Begin Play, and select your Weapon Actor.
split the transform to set location, rotation, and scale. From the Spawn Actor node, select Promote to Variable to create a new variable, I'll call it My Sword. Add an Attach Actor to Component node, connect it to the Set node, and link the target input. Drag the mesh component into the blueprint and connect it to parent. To attach the sword to the skeleton, open the skeleton and find the right hand bone, mines, hand underscore arm. Right click and select add socket to create hand underscore R socket. Adjust its position to sit inside the hand. Copy the socket name, return to the character's blueprint, and paste it into socket name. Compile and save. Test the level, and, oops. The sword's upside down, and the hand's off. This happens because the static mesh's origin isn't aligned properly. To fix it, drag the sword's static mesh or the actor into the level. Switch to Modeling mode, select Pivot, and reposition it by holding the left mouse button. Adjust Rotation to Click Accept. I underrotated the pivot, the sword's not fully turned. Switch to Select Mode, delete the mesh with Delete and relaunch the level. Now the sword is perfectly positioned. The combat animation still works, and the character is fully controllable with any weapon you want. If you found this helpful, please hit that thumbs up, it really boosts my channel. And subscribe to join me for more Unreal Engine and AI tutorials. Thank you for following along. I'll catch you in the next video.